own by Paul Band. Don't tell me the sky is a limit when there are footsteps on the moon. I unquote. With this, I, Ishmael Kaur, will say a few lines on the moon, the most beautiful celestial body on the universe. The moon is the only natural satellite of the earth. Even though it is the closest neighbor, it is still 384,400 kilometers away from the earth. The moon revolves around the earth on a fixed path known as orbit. The moon takes about 29 and a half day to rotate on its axis. It also takes about the same time to complete one revolution around. There is no air and no water on the moon, so there is no life on the moon. The moon has no light of its own. However, it shines in the night sky because it reflects the sun's light falling on it. The gravity of the moon is one-sixth that of the earth. Due to the weak gravity, the moon cannot keep atmosphere around it. Because there is no atmosphere around the moon, we could not talk to each other at the moon. The moon is extremely hot during the day and freezing cold at the night because of the non-availability of the atmosphere. There are two phenomena on the earth which are due to the moon. These are tides and eclipse. As the moon revolves around the earth, it seems to pull the earth's water towards it. This phenomena is known as tide, which is of two types, high tide and low tide. Approximately every 12 and a half hour, there is one high tide followed by one low tide. The moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. Due to this, the certain position of the earth and the moon cast their shadows on each other. This blocks the sun's light and causes eclipse to occur. When the earth comes between the sun and the moon, the shadow of the earth fall on the moon. This is called lunar eclipse. This is of two types. Total lunar eclipse and partial lunar eclipse. When the moon comes between the sun and the earth, the moon block about the sunlight and the shadow of the moon fall on some part of the earth. This is called solar eclipse. This is of two types, partial solar eclipse and total solar eclipse. On 20th July 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. And on 2nd April 1980, Colonel leader Rakesh Sharma of the Indian Air Force became the first Indian to reach at the moon. Following this great, one day I would also fly to the moon and the Mars. Jai Hind!